Colleagues, the legislation before us today is about providing Oregonians with certainty. Certainty that they will be able to keep their children in their current school, that they will be able to pay a reasonable amount of rent, and that they'll not become homeless through no fault of their own. Many Oregonians are experiencing housing insecurity or homelessness, and for the most vulnerable and underserved Oregons, Oregonians, this fear is even more acute. I want to bring your attention to an op-ed that's on your desk today. This op-ed was written by Melissa Erlbaum, who is the Executive Director of Clackamas Women's Services, a domestic violence program. She points out how Senate Bill 608 provides an important new tool in combating domestic violence, sexual assault, and harassment, and how this legislation will ultimately bring more peace and security for people at risk. She writes about Sarah, a mother escaping domestic violence who faced her abuser in court, secured a job, and found a home. Within six months, though, Sarah had her rent raised twice, including one $300 a month increase. The stable home that Sarah sought, worked hard to get, and felt safe in was then at risk. In testimony, Beth Hope of the Tillamook County Women's Resource Center said, when stable and safe housing become a reality for victims of violence, they have the opportunity to rebuild their lives and the lives of their families. This le legislation also provides for communities all over the state. In my professional work as the Director of Family Services at Nea Family Center, I see firsthand every day the struggles that people have in not being able to secure housing and, or not being able to keep it. Over the years, I've worked with hundreds of individuals and families who are just trying to make it. I've struggled to help people find housing and have had countless friends and families members sleeping in my own home. I have a basement with a bathroom just so they have a place to stay because there isn't housing. It should, not be, it should not be so difficult for Oregonians to find a safe place to live. As a legislator, I, I represent North and Northeast Portland, where gentrification has already occurred without rent caps, without anything to secure it. Gentrification is real already. I also informally represent the indigenous populations of this state, many who have never had a voice here. Those folks live in rural areas. They're also struggling. And so are the many people who come into our committee to talk about this issue. They're from all over the state. People in Oregon are asking for this. In my ter time serving as a state legislator, I've been accused more than once of only representing urban areas. Let me be clear. I'm very aware that the entire state of Oregon is dealing with this issue. It is an emergency. From women fleeing domestic violence to working families in big, in big communities, or small communities, they're just trying to get by. To indigenous people who are struggling to find a safe and secure home, this crisis touches us all. Where you live in Oregon should not determine the rights and protections you receive. I come here today with a duty to do something for the people that we all serve all over the state of Oregon. We all deserve to have a safe and secure place to live long term if we choose that. And I realize that it may not be the perfect fit. But right now, this is what we can do. This is what we should do to make sure that Oregonians are able to stay in their homes and be safe and to be able to pay for it appropriately. I urge an I vote.